Hello everybody, welcome to Todo Tequila for another review. I am Edgar, AKA Steady Eddie. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Tequila Fortaleza. If you're a tequila fan and you sip tequila, you know about Tequila Fortaleza. If uh, you have some friends that love tequila, you've probably been told about Tequila Fortaleza. It is a delight. It is many, go many people's go-to tequila. And if you're new to tequila and you've been drinking and you're wondering, hey, I'm not sure I'm getting that agave. What is that agave flavor I'm supposed to taste? Find Tequila Fortaleza and you're going to taste that. If you guys forward, you get that great cooked agave throughout and long, clean finish. Um, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get that agave flavor. It was founded in 2005 by Guillermo Sousa, a fifth generation uh, tequila producer, yeah, founded in 2005, but was no rookie. His uh, great, great, great grandfather was Senovio, Don Senovio Sousa, uh, one of the first pioneers of uh, tequila, the first uh, to export tequila to the U.S. and internationally. So definitely no, no rookie here. His family's been making great tequila for a long, long time. And one of the things he said to bring, bring with Fortaleza is that um, traditional methods were, were, getting, were be becoming abandoned. People weren't using uh, processes uh, and, uh, and methods like the Tajona. I remember not even knowing what is a Tajona and many distilleries uh, had abandoned that. Now they brought it back. Almost every family owned uh, tequila that's making small batch tequila is uh, using the Tajona. And even some of the bigger brands are now implementing the Tajona as well. So um, Fortaleza is your quintessential small batch tequila. Not like some claim to be small batch, yet they're on every store shelf and every bar all year round. There's always a supply. Tequila Fortaleza, sometimes we, we have trouble finding it on the shelves, finding it in our restaurants because everybody, you know, they only make so many. They harvest their tequila and they bottle it and then that's all there is until the next harvest. Um, and, you know, they run out and you may not, that's it. That's all they have. And you may not, we may not see it on the shelves anymore in the restaurants. There you have to wait and everybody wants and is waiting for Fortaleza, yet it's um, he's been able to keep it uh, reasonably priced. What are the methods that we have learned that is the traditional process? Well, uh, uh, it, the agave plant is allowed to mature. That usually takes six to eight years, sometimes longer, depending on the sugar content and what gives that gives it that complexity and natural tequila flavor. The other brands, um, two and a half, three years maybe, and they're allowed to uh, use uh, coloring and flavoring. This is added to free. Fortaleza is absolutely added to free. They're not gonna be swayed. Uh, Guillermo Salsa is going to do his best to keep uh, using the traditional methods. Um, so after the harvest, uh, the agave is cooked in uh, brick ovens, 30 plus hours, and then allowed to cool approximately 20 hours. This is a lot of time, and you know time is money. But uh, this is how the Fortaleza and small family artisanal distilleries are making their tequila. After that, it is crushed with the Tajona lava, molten lava uh, a wheel. It's over two tons that's used to macerate and crush the juice out of the agave plant. And then they ferment the, the tequila. And one of the things I think that stands out with Tequila Fortaleza <clears throat> is that he uses uh, wooden vats, uh, wooden vats where the tequila, where the tequila juice is fermented and sometimes allowed to rest there from weeks to months in the wooden vats. I think one of the things that uh, brings out uh, with that is uh, the buttery. There's a buttery flavor, aroma, and texture that's really, really nice and stands out. And of course, tequila has to be double distilled. And then if it's gonna be aged, um, they used um, uh, uh, American oak or French oak, usually American oak uh, barrels, uh, many times used uh, whiskey barrels that to help give it a, a different flavor when it's aged. And that's it, that's the uh, pretty much uh, in a nutshell, the traditional process. That's what you did here with Tequila Fortaleza. 
So again, then, you know. Oh, it's just a delight, everybody. You get that citrus, that agave sweet, cooked agave flavor throughout. That butteriness, like I said, aroma and flavor, texture. Some earthiness, anise. And there's some minerality here, which makes it a nice, refreshing blanco. Go ahead, try to help find yourself some Fortaleza and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another review, everybody. Thanks for watching Todo Tequila. Salud. Vamos a darle. Avanzamos. Gracias. Avanzamos.